Before hooking up and taking the shop bot for a spin, we need to set up our control computer. The shop bot control computer must meet the following requirements and follow some best practices to be as successful as possible for the many years of CNC routing to come. The ShopBot software needs to be run on a Windows operating system. It will also need to sit within a 10-foot range of the ShopBot control box to remain in distance of the USB cabling. The cable cannot be extended past this 10-foot range. If the operator needs to be beyond this range, it is acceptable to extend the peripherals like the keyboard, mouse, and display away from the PC but definitely keep that 10 foot range in mind when picking out the control computer as it's likely to get covered in the chips and debris of whatever material you are routing. The ShopBot control PC needs to have Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or 10 as the operating system installed. XP is also a capable operating system, but is harder to support and set up. ShopBot support does not recommend Windows Vista, for the ShopBot control PC. There needs to be at least one USB 2.0 port for Windows 10 USB 3.0 should suffice and not cause any issues. You may want a second USB port for peripherals like your mouse and keyboard. The PC should also be equipped with a dual core processor or better and have a processing power of two gigahertz or better and a minimum of four gigabytes of RAM installed. The control PC should be as streamlined as possible. For this, we recommend using the ShopBot control PC only for running the ShopBot, and a separate design PC for other work. Running other programs or deviating from our recommended setup may cause communications issues during cutting and critical production runs, ruining the final cut, potentially breaking your bits, or causing other catastrophic failure. You may also want a PDF reader like Adobe Reader to display the help documentation and other documents on the control PC.